Good afternoon, this is Lara from Pure Elliott Wave with your daily analysis for Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. The vote has closed and VE Chain, Solana and Cardano in that order have won the vote. So thank you so much for everyone who participated and particularly everyone who shared it on social media. Looks like the VE Chain guys got in there late and to pull ahead for a win. So I'll be doing VE Chain this week, not today, but maybe later this week for you and I'll be doing Solana maybe this week next week and then Cardano. This week I'm going to look, well today I'm going to look at the weekly time frame for Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. Now we've got last week complete and currently they're moving higher. Bitcoin I expect might find some resistance pretty soon, about 48,000, that's pretty strong resistance. If we see a pullback I expect support now is most likely going to continue to hold at 41,100. We haven't seen deep pullbacks for a while. This is a strong bullish upward pull from, for Ethereum and XRP anyway, third waves at multiple degrees. The last completed week does have some push from volume. Please excuse the noise in the background. There's nothing I can do about that. They're going to be here a while and I've got to get this video done for you. Um, men are working. Good on them. A little bit of a push from volume for upward movement last week is bullish. Hi, I'm Lara from Pure Elliott Wave and in 2021 I wrote a book, Pure Elliott Wave. I wrote it to be a clear, definitive guide to everything you need to know about Elliott Wave. I have 33 copies to sign and personalise while I'm in the United States and so if you would like a signed, personalised copy of my book, click on the link below. At this time frame, the upward trend is now extreme, but not very extreme. Very extreme is over 45, but for Bitcoin, an upward trend for ADX can reach 60 or 70 or above. And it does tend to get to this point, very extreme, well early in a bullish trend. I've been over that with you previously, showing you weekly charts. RSI is overbought, but this can reach very deeply overbought and remain there for a long time during a bullish run for this market. I'll wait to see RSI deeply overbought, ADX very, very extreme, at least above 50 or maybe 55, and RSI to reach deeply overbought and exhibit bearish divergence before I expect a bullish run may be in danger of ending. And then I would want a complete Elliott Wave count as well. Money flow is still in neutral territory, this one isn't overbought, so still room for upward movement, quite a lot of room for, up, for upward movement to continue actually. And at the weekly time frame, it is so good to see volatility returning to this market with ATR showing a strong increase. In conjunction with volume pushing price higher, pullbacks being relatively shallow, although consolidation's not necessarily brief, and volatility returning, overall this look for Bitcoin is extremely bullish. My Elliott Wave count for Ethereum still expects to see the second wave correction at minute degree over here, and a third wave up at minute, minor, intermediate, primary and cycle degree in its early stages, so five large degrees. I have reasonable confidence for Ethereum that minor 2 is over, so I'm going to calculate a target for you for minor 3 for it to reach 11.09 times the length of minor 1 at 13,325. If that target is wrong, it may be too conservative. That is an extreme Fibonacci ratio for a normal market, but for cryptocurrencies, it's a bit short. The third waves do tend to be strong extensions, particularly third waves at multiple degrees, nested third waves. They tend to be really long extensions, quite a lot longer than 11.09, so that's conservative. Weekly technicals for Ethereum, I've shown you this one before. I noticed this from Coinskid, who presented this in one of his videos. I watch very, very few other analysts technical analysis and I but I do occasionally watch Coinskid and Chris Chiavarko that's about the two exceptions I make his technical analysis is really good so I'll put a link just below in the description box if you haven't come across Coinskid already head on over and have a look at his daily videos if you have and you're here from Coinskid thank you so much for your support He's noticed this large ascending triangle. Breakouts from ascending triangles more commonly upward than downward, usually about 61% from base to cradle. This one's a little bit later, but it has broken out upward, and now price is finding support at the upper edge of that triangle, which is about 2,200. Today, Ethereum is starting again to move up and away. Look for next resistance above at 2,400. Calculating a target from the base of the triangle, which is the high of this candlestick here, 
to the low of this candlestick here, adding that difference to the breakout point, which I calculate about 2,200, I get a target from this triangle at 3,347, about give or take a dollar or two. So that's my target for the triangle, and that's in now in play now that there's been an upward breakout and price is continuing to find support at the upper edge of that triangle. It's really common after price breaks through resistance or support to then for that resistance or support to switch from support to resistance or vice versa. So this is really common behaviour. The last couple of weeks, red candlesticks with average flat volume. Last completed week, a slight decline in volume. So overall, I'll read the volume profile as bullish. The strongest recent week was this upward week, a green candlestick. At the weekly time frame, Ethereum now has an extreme upward trend, but not very extreme and a very, very long way to go before it's as extreme as it can get for this market. And again, this will tend to exhibit a very extreme trend relatively early on in a bullish run. So this is not at all a concern for a bullish case for Ethereum today. RSI is in neutral. There's a very long way to go before this gets as extreme as it can during a bullish run for this market. And money flow is neutral. So overall, this chart is extremely bullish for Ethereum. That target from the triangle, 3,347. My Elliott Wave count for XRP still sees a second wave correction over as a zigzag down here. Leading contracting diagonal for A. Regular contracting triangle for B. Sharp little impulse for C. I don't have enough confidence yet that minor wave 2 is over though for XRP in order to calculate a target for minor 3 and bring the invalidation point up here to the end of minor 2 at 0.4962. When price has made a new high beyond the end of minor wave 1 and that core Elliott wave rule for minor 3 is met, minor wave 3 must move beyond the end of minor wave 1 and it has to move far enough above that point to allow minor wave 4 to then unfold and remain above wave one price territory. So when minor threes move beyond the end of one, I will calculate a target for it and pull the invalidation point up. I'm not prepared to do so yet. It's a little bit premature. I have to allow for the possibility that we could move the degree of labeling within minor two down one degree. This zigzag could just be wave A of a flat. It could be wave W of a multiple, either a double combination or a double zigzag. While those possibilities remain possible, I'm going to leave the invalidation point at 0.4456. If minor 2 does continue further, it may not move beyond the start of 1 below that point. Technicals on the weekly for XRP, it's finding very strong support at 55 cents so far. This one is looking a little bit less, well, quite a lot less bullish than the other two. And I would have some concerns for it. But the bottom line does remain that from the low back here in November 2022, there is a series of higher lows and higher highs. And that series would only be broken if we see a lower low below the low here of May 2023 at 0.4120. That's the last higher low previous to the higher high. So a new low below this point would break the pattern of higher highs and higher lows and tell us there's been a trend change for XRP. While that has not happened, assume the trend, which is upward, remains the same. The basic definition of an upward trend, a series of higher lows and a series of higher highs, remains intact. Look out for resistance again at 62 cents, but I expect strong support at 55 cents is very likely to hold. This was previously strong resistance along here and back along here and back along here. Last week's downward week has a little bit of a push from volume, but overall volume has been declining as price is essentially moving sideways. So for the very short term, the volume profile may be more bearish than bullish, but not so much as to cause a concern. For XRP at the weekly time frame, the ADX line is now declining, so there is no clear trend indicated at this time frame. And that's it from me today with your quick update. Looking at the weekly time frame on Monday, I'll be looking at daily tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for your support. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.